Why did crocodiles survive and dinosaurs die? It is often believed that dinosaurs disappeared as a result of a meteorite impact, but in reality, not all of them became extinct, some survived, and dinosaurs still exist among us. Well, maybe not dinosaurs exactly, but a group of closely related animals that still look very similar. We are talking about crocodiles, an animal order that includes several subspecies of marine reptiles. How did these animals manage to survive the mass extinction? Were they the only animals to do it? This video will talk about crocodiles, their similarities with dinosaurs and, mainly, the differences that were fundamental for their survival. The crocodiles we know today live in lakes and swamps, are mostly marine reptiles and certainly have an appearance reminiscent of ancient dinosaurs. However, while their ancestors lived alongside dinosaurs, they actually had slightly different characteristics. Archaeological evidence shows that ancient crocodiles had a highly developed adaptability. They changed quickly according to their environment and that's why they could live both on land and in water. Modern crocodiles have fossils dating back over 55 million years, and even older remains of their extinct ancestors have been found, dating back 230 million years. Research groups from the University of Bristol, UK, and Harvard University, US, studied about 200 skulls and jaws of crocodiles and their extinct species. Ancient crocodiles appeared in a dizzying array of forms. They have been adapted to run on land, swim in water, fish and even chew on plants. Our study shows that these very different life forms evolved incredibly quickly, allowing extinct crocodiles to thrive rapidly for many millions of years, explain Drive. Stephanie Pierce, an associate professor of evolutionary biology at Harvard. The changes found show that extinct crocodile species had different skull and jaw structures to adapt to the different foods available. In fact, at some times they even had shapes very similar to mammals. For example, there are fossil records of crocodiles that lived in the ocean and had characteristics similar to dolphins, while those that lived on land ate plants and moved very quickly. The first similarity between crocodiles and dinosaurs is obvious, both are reptiles. Therefore, many physical similarities in their anatomy and appearance. Like almost all non-bird dinosaurs, crocodiles have scaly skin, sharp teeth, and claws. Crocodiles are one of the groups of animals that survived the mass extinction of millions of years ago, which has been the subject of scientific study. Although crocodiles do not have thick skins to protect themselves from the cold or beaks to find hidden food. Their organisms have some advantages that allowed them to survive in the hard times of extinction. One of the most outstanding advantages of crocodiles is that their body uses very little energy. For this reason, they can spend a lot of time lying still, breathing slowly and with a slower heart rate. This allows them to hold their breath underwater for over an hour, and survive without food for months. In some cases, they can even go more than a year without eating. This ability was key to surviving in an environment with scarce food. Another advantage that crocodiles had is that they lived in areas where plants were not necessarily a fundamental part of the ecosystem. While the dinosaurs lived in forests or grasslands where plants are essential for the balance of the system. Most crocodiles lived in rivers, lakes and coasts where fauna does not usually depend as much on plants. The main food comes from the remains of animals or plants that come by water, and these are eaten by small animals that in turn are food for larger ones, and so on until reaching crocodiles. Therefore, the death of the plants did not imply an immediate famine for the crocodiles. The quick adaptability of crocodiles has also been key to their survival. Being amphibians, they could have had an easier time adapting to changes and using aquatic or terrestrial resources according to their needs and possibilities. In addition, the crocodile's metabolism and body temperature may have been a contributing factor to their survival. 
being cold-blooded and growing slowly, they require less food and burn fewer calories to grow or stay warm. It is not possible to determine which of all the factors was crucial or if they were all at the same time that allowed the survival of the crocodiles. This happened millions of years ago and there is no single, definitive answer. All the hypotheses have scientific bases and are not mutually exclusive. Nor can we forget that luck often plays an important role in the survival of one species over another, since changes are unpredictable and can create conditions that favor some species and not others. The evolution of crocodiles has been the subject of study at the University of Bristol, where it was concluded that crocodilian evolution reached a form versatile and efficient enough to cope with changes in its environment, including a global catastrophe. A particular pattern was identified in the evolution of crocodiles known as punctuated equilibrium or stop. Spring is the most prosperous time for most animals, as it is when they have an abundance of food, reproduce, and grow. Unfortunately, when an asteroid impacted Earth, many animals were not prepared for the difficulties that followed, as they did not have enough food reserves and conditions were too harsh to survive. However, in the Southern Hemisphere, animals and nature prepare for winter when spring comes to the north. This planning and preparation for the toughest and scarcest season could be key to the survival of some species. In fact, animals in the Southern Hemisphere recovered twice as fast as those in the north. The ancestors of modern birds, crocodiles, and turtles survived in the Southern Hemisphere, along with many primitive burrowing mammals. Birds and crocodiles were not the only survivors of extinction after the asteroid impact. Various mammals, including some very distant ancestors of humans, also managed to survive. The most catastrophic mass extinction on record occurred about 250 million years ago, at the end of the Permian period. The extinction caused the death of 75% of terrestrial organisms and 90% of ocean organisms. The trigger for this extinction was a series of massive volcanic eruptions in Siberia that released greenhouse gases and caused an intense change in the climate. In short, spring is an important time for most animals, but when a catastrophic event occurs, such as an asteroid impacting Earth or massive volcanic eruptions, if you like the content, guarantee your subscription by subscribing to the channel. See you later.